Hey guys, Buffner Gaming back to bring you another video, and today we're gonna cover the weapon. Hey guys, Buffner Gaming back here, bring you another video, and today we're gonna continue the weapon conversion series, and today we're covering the MP5 SD, so the classic MP5 silenced from called Four and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. So. The classic iconic gun from there, MP5 SD, I'm going to show you how to convert the MP5 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare into the MP5 SD. So let's get right into it here. So here you have the finished product and the attachments that we're using for this one, starting off with the barrel, is going to be the subsonic integral suppressor. So again, this is going to take up your slot as a muzzle also because it's an the barrel has a suppressor built into it. So the subsonic arrow suppressor, gonna equip that. And then for aesthetic purposes, I'm just keeping the TAC light on there. Uh, I think it, it fits well with this weapon, especially being a submachine gun. Also, we're gonna equip the holographic sight to the MP5. So again, this is personal preference, whatever sight you prefer, the GI mini reflex, some of these other red dots, as well as the standard one that you start off with, the operator reflex sight also fits well with the mp5 sd the stock we're going to go ahead and leave blank again this is something you can customize to your liking i think uh either the ftac collapsible or the standard stock that it comes with is the one you want for this weapon build though so for this one we're just going to go with the standard stock for the mp5 perks we're going to leave blank as well as the rear grip and then for ammunition we're just going to select the 45 round mag and again, you can swap the 45 round mag if you wanted a grip or a different stock or something along those lines. And then for the underbarrel, we're going to go with the commando foregrip on this one. So this is the finished product, MP5 SD. Again, that integral build-in suppressor. So that's going to take up your slot as a barrel as well. So you're getting two for one there. We're keeping the 5 milliwatt laser on there as well as the commando foregrip. Sticking with the, four, the 45 round 9 mil magazine and a hollow sight. So let me go ahead and strip it and I'll show you how to build it from scratch and then we'll get in and see it in action and look at the recoil patterns. So now starting from scratch with the MP5, again, we're going to start with the barrel and we're going with the subsonic integral suppressor. So real quick for this one, lightweight aluminum suppressor decreases muzzle velocity to subsonic speeds, providing a smooth recoil, low sound signature and no visible tracers. So you're getting a lot of benefits with that, with the only con being the bullet velocity velocity decrease slightly. But the cons there far away the, or I'm sorry, the pros far away the cons for this one. So we're gonna go ahead and select this laser again. This is personal preference. We're gonna go with the tac laser optics. I prefer the hollow sight. I think it fits well with the MP5 SD stock. We're gonna leave blank as well as perks and foregrip. We're leaving blank. And for the ammunition, we're going with a 45 round magazine just to give us a little bit more ammo there. And then under barrel, we're gonna go with the commando foregrip for this one. And again, this is a one that's personal preference. You can pick whichever one you like. I think this one aesthetically looks the best. So there we go, finished product MP5 SD. Everyone remembers this from COD 4, COD Remastered. That classic look with that integral build and suppressor. So now that we've built it, let's go ahead and see it in action. We'll take a look at the recoil patterns and then see how it performs against some bots in a private match. Okay, so here we are with the MP5 SD. Let's go ahead and look at the recoil patterns on this weapon. If we're going to fire it at full auto here, and I'm not going to control the recoil against this wall. So you can see there it slowly climbed up. It actually stayed pretty concentrated for the most part as it climbed up. But if you don't control it, it does climb slowly actually. So now let's fire again and this time I'll control the recoil. So there we go, pretty concentrated. And then how else would we want to use this? Typically, you're not going to want to use this in single fire, but 
just for the purposes of testing this. So there we did about half a mag. And you can see very tight spread here. That's controlling the recoil. Let's kill this guy first. Okay, I don't know where he is. So controlling the recoil, single shot, and then not controlling the recoil as it climbs up. Okay, so let's take a look at the recoil pattern once more at a medium range. So this time, again, I'm not going to control it. Enemy at the courtyard. So you can see it slowly climbs up. Very controllable and manageable, manageable recoil here. And now if I control the recoil, you don't even really need to mitigate it too much. Slightly pulling down on that. And then single shot. You can see it's pretty tight. So now the MP5 is a submachine gun developed by the German company Heckler and Notch, and it, it fires at nine millimeter rounds, obviously, and it fires at 600 to 800 rounds per minute. I'm sorry, it's 800 rounds per minute. Personal radar drone ready. So let's go ahead and see how this performs now against bots. If we're gonna go ahead and use this. See if we can find them and see how it performs. So you can see the recoil on this is very manageable with the attachments I have. I'm sure you can find some better attachments to use on this one, but it rips pretty hard. And again, this is uh, the recoil is very easy to use with the attachments that I have on here with the Commando 4 grip and the integral suppressor. Almost no recoil if you're actually semi pulling down on it. Even if you weren't controlling the recoil, you stay pretty tight as your barrel climbs. And again, you could actually put the 10 millimeter rounds on this too if you wanted to get an even heavier punch with this. But for the purpose of this, staying with the standard MP5 SD, we're just using the 45 magazine of the 9 millimeter rounds. Let's see here. Yeah, so this thing feels great. So again, I, there may even be a blueprint available for the MP5K, but I couldn't build it uh, the way I wanted to looking at it. So I'm sure there's gonna be a blueprint down the road for it. Couldn't really get the right barrel for that weapon. But there are some other variants that you can make of the MP5 in this game as well that we'll cover, including the 10 millimeter rounds as well. Okay. But like I said, there probably will be a blueprint for the MP5K, because I know a lot of people were asking about that. And the MP5K, it's just a compact version of this weapon, of the standard MP5. And like we saw with the M16A4 Grenadier version, that is, as I said, an unlock when you reach max officer rank of 155. So. So I hope you guys like this weapon. I hope you like the way it looks. And we... I don't know where that fire just came from. <laughs> he was shooting at me from somewhere. But yeah, again, this is your MP5 SD from COD4, COD Remastered, 10 millimeter rounds. This is the blueprint for it. You can actually save blueprints, which I'll probably be going ahead and showing in another video going forward as to how to save your own blueprints. Because you can save these and rename them, rename them to what you want. And basically your loadouts for them will be saved going forward, as well as the ones that you can unlock via challenges. So they're all going to work the same. There we go. So let me know what other weapons you guys want to see in these videos. And I'll be sure to make them. I do have, as I said, a big list going forward that I will be making. So we're going to be covering some a different weapon every single day. Keeping it concentrated on one weapon. So let me know what you guys think, what weapons you want to see going forward. And I hope you like the video. If you do like the content on this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. It definitely helps out smaller channels like myself. And also be sure to check out my Twitch page that I have linked in the description below in this video for my page. So on there, now that this game's out, I will be streaming pretty regularly. I'll come out with a definitive schedule going forward, but be sure to go ahead and check me out over there if you want to see some streams and interact with me there. And I will test out loadouts in-game as well. So I hope you guys like the content. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.